Hello everybody, this is Kboy101222 here with a nice big review for you. So this is the D&D 5th edition starter set. It says no more on it, this is 5th edition. Uh, this is basically what D&D Next has turned into, starter set. Uh, and this isn't what I thought it was at the beginning. I thought this was their new red box, but apparently it's not. Now if you're watching this and you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, go look all this stuff up. D&D or Dungeons and Dragons is an absolutely amazing game to play. Uh, you do have to sink a bit of time into it, uh, depending on how you feel about it, you can sink quite a lot of time into it. So we're going to move that out of the way, and the next thing we're going to do is take a look at the dice. So you've got all your basic dice here, uh, they've got this really nice, really nice blue blue-gray pattern going on. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Uh, these are the same graphic style from the die that you would have gotten in the D&D Deluxe Dice Set for 4th Edition. However, now they come with the D&D Starter Set. Previously, the red box for 4th Edition had some really crappy black die in them, and they weren't very good, but here you've got all your basic. You've got your D4, you've got your D6, you've got your D8, D10, D12, and the legendary D20. So, next up, we're gonna open up the box and check out the starter set rulebook. So this has all the basics you need to get started, such as how to play, combat steps, uh, adventuring tips, and casting spells. And I have looked through this some. Uh, it does have quite a bit. It tells you your ability score modifiers here. Um, it's got description of all the skills. It's got combat. It's got combat it's really detailed in here. It's got every single step of combat. So for example, if I go back a page, it's got the order of combat. And then it goes into saying the surprise round, roll for initiative, take your turn. And then rather than having the move, move, minor, and attack of previous fourth edition, you now have the move, a base action, and some are bonus actions, which from reading it I can tell that's what replaced minor actions. So uh, it also tells you how to handle other actions, and tells you reactions, and if I flip over it tells you step by step about mo your movement phase. So breaking up your move, difficult terrain, being prone, uh, moving around other creatures, and then it goes straight to attack. So it's got base attacks, dash, disengage, dodge, help, hide, ready, search, use an object. And then it has details of making an attack, uh, damage and healing, hit points, damage, healing, dropping to zero. The dropping to zero rolls are really interesting now. I don't think this was in the last one, but in these current rules, it states that if, say, um, okay, here we go. Um, for example, a cleric with a maximum of 12 hit points currently has 6. If she takes 18 damage from an attack, she is reduced to 0 hit points, but 12 damage remains. Because the damage remain remaining equals her hit points maximum, the cleric dies. That's 100% dead. You don't get a saving throw for that. Uh, this has travel, such as short rest, long rests. Has a list of, has a pretty good list of equipment. Um, let's see, nice big list of adventuring gear, lodging, mounts, tax, tax. Um, and then this is all about spells. So, it has rules for spells. It has a list of up to third level for cleric and wizard spells. And then here it shows all the spells descriptions. So previously it would have, uh, there were two separate, two, number two, separate types of spells, technically. There were basic spells like fireball, uh, magic missile, cantrips, and then there were rituals. Now rituals have been summed up into spells themselves. So, for example, Augury. You see that says Ritual. It would if the camera would focus. It apparently won't. 
like that right there, it says ritual. Casting time one minute, range self. So now it says VSM. Okay, so these are components you need. V is verbal, S is somatic, which is fan fancy gestures. And M is material, and if it needs materials, it will specifically list what materials you need. So, Auguary needs a vocal, a somatic, and some materials. So, specially marked sticks, bones, or similar tokens worth at least 25 gold pieces. Uh, so that tells you what you need for this. So, all of this is quite nice. So, you can see all the spells here. Uh, it goes all the way up to web, which is second level, pretty good spell. Um, yeah, so that's the starter set rulebook. Next up, we have the character sheets. This comes with quite a few characters pre-built. This one is the level one high elf wizard, Chaotic Good. Uh, it's also got the Lightfoot Halfling Rogue neutral criminal background. It does have backgrounds, which I don't see in the rulebook where they take place, but they might show. I haven't read through it all yet. Uh, the Hill Dwarf Cleric. I don't usually associate dwarves with being clerics. It's got the light... Oh, I just looked at that one. It's also got level one human fighter, an ex-noble, and a level one human fighter who was a folk hero. So, it's got all these character sheets ready to go. And next, it's got the Lost Mine of Fandelver. This is the included adventure that takes your party all the way up to level 5. It's quite a big book, actually. It's uh, 64 pages. It's got a rules index back here. So, it tells you it cross references with the rulebook included with this set. Um, and it's got descriptions of a ton of monsters in the back. Uh, that's not fun. Spoiler alert. But yeah, that's the Lost Mine of Fandelver. Uh, I plan on playing that at some point. So, last but not least, it's got it's got an ad for Lost Mine of Fandelver and not for T and D encounters. Uh, you can see here, looks really cool. And on the back, it's got a blank character sheet, which is really nice. So we could go ahead and start building characters by just copying this sheet. So, yep, that's all that's included in the box. I can lay it out for you real quick. So here's the die. I'll set this to the corner. The blank character sheet. Lost Mine of Fandelver. The not so blank character sheets and the starter set rule books. Yeah, that's well worth the twenty dollars I paid for this. So, hope you've enjoyed this review and subscribe for more. Thanks.